Zabi. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and you know it doesn't matter how much time there is left in the round. Tim Elliott is always going to go for it. Whether it's on the feet, in transition, or on the ground, this man is a finisher of the highest order, and remarkably, more than half a decade after he gave Demetrius Johnson arguably his toughest flyweight title defense, here he is still competing and excelling against the very best fighters in the sport. All right, so a nice early sequence here by the BJJ fighter to attain the clinch and minimize some of that distance between him and his outstanding striking opponent. Well, he knew that he needed to be close. He knew that staying at range was very dangerous for him. But he also needs to be very aware and understand that the boxer is very good at fighting in close. Fast pace here in the early gun. Just out of range with that right hand. Fight now down. he's got the single Fight collar down. and the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, missed on that one. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Just misses with the straight right. Michael right, for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him there. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Beautiful block there. Just over three minutes to go now. Beautiful counter punch. Really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Elliott's in half court. Big ground and pound. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. He's able to flip the left there. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, nice inside kick. All right, so another winning jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that that is his base. The way that he throws the jab is fundamentally sound. Does it? Like he was trained to do it as a young boy. Oh, oh he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Takedown attempts on the power. Oh! They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And there's a takedown attempt. Elliott's nose. Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot, Rand. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Takedown defense holds up. We approach the one-minute mark in the first round. Well, now you see some
some visible damage on the side. Oh, he's not looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. My right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. That kick blocked by Elliott. Oh! Final second to round one. Big shot takes for both guys. Head leg kick hurt. Oh. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? One of the best rounds of the year. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? You Round ready? two here. Side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Huge knee lands to the plane. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. Oh, Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Elliot's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. All right, so we told you off the top that this boxer wanted the best chance of victory tonight. He had to keep the fight upright. So far, so good. Yeah, he's done that. And he's done a fantastic job of staying upright, giving himself an opportunity. You can see all the work that they have done with this guy to help him improve that area that he was lacking in early in his career. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Oh, all right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that end. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. So plenty of time to go here, round two. Nice jab. Trying to establish that jab once again. Jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. It can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Well, he was a little bit lackluster. And, and that will do it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.
All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division, and it's pretty wild.